In northwestern Pakistan, demonstrations have continued in the city of Peshawar following local elections held on May the 30th. Protesters from various parties accused the government in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of rigging the election. Some of them held what they said were fake ballot papers provided by the authorities. The protest was peaceful, but came after post-election violence that claimed 19 lives and injured dozens of people. In the Afghan capital, Kabul, teachers from at least two high schools have launched a strike, saying the government is ignoring their problems. Their demands include increased salaries and better living conditions. Afghan teachers sometimes supplement their pay by taking on extra employment, driving taxis or working in shops. In Kazakhstan, there was tight security as secondary school students began taking final exams in Almaty. The X-ray machines were to prevent people smuggling in smartphones or other gadgets. Across Kazakhstan, more than 87,000 kids are taking the tests this year. The best among them aim to secure government grants to pay for their further education. The pressure to do well is high, and the exams have even been blamed for teen suicides in recent years. In Dushanbe, the U.S. ambassador to Tajikistan, Susan Elliott, met with non-governmental groups representing disabled people. She told them the United States would press Tajik authorities to sign and ratify the U.N. Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Activists complain that disabled people's needs are often ignored and say that many have little or no information about their rights. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.